Okay, this is the preparation for the first floor. We're just finishing the ground floor now. Got a little bit more to do. You can see the block work's done, the brickwork at the front's done. Got the insulation in the walls, dummy frames up. Pockets all cut, ready for the joist, for the first floor joists. They're all run at 400 millimeter centers. Let me just have a little walk around here for no particular reason, just see what's going on. See what a mess it is. I really do need to get out there and tidy this up, but I've just been too busy. Anyway, Mark's there and he's there with Alex, his son, and they are just putting the bed on for the lintels, which are basically that's going to be the side door to the house, going into the utility room. And this is the high therm lintel from Keystone. And these are really good because they cut down cold bridging by a a huge amount because they've got a little bit of they've got insulation inside they've got GRP now this is the this is a brick pier which is gonna be for the new lintel now it's more than a brick pier it's actually a stretch bit of wall there because we've taken it up to the door frame because no point doing a little brick pier and then one thermalite block so because we've got good insulation in this house we thought okay we're all right with that I'm gonna put some thermal board over that wall as well just to up the insulation. Now this is a two-piece lintel from Keystone. These are actually for porotherm blocks and we were going to use porotherm blocks which is why we ordered these lintels and then we changed our mind for various reasons and we've gone with hemolite block but the lintel still works. It's a two-piece lintel you wouldn't necessarily need to use this but it works really well. They're both insulated those sections and they just slot together. There's a little channel there that picks one up and locks it to the other one so once you've got them in place just check in and out and uh, they're going to do the other one same same just checking the levels across see where they are and then same again outside one goes on that's the boot lintel so that's ready to run a course of blocks across and you can see what's going on here that's actually sitting slightly into the cavity and then the next one is picked up like so. So that one on the inside is supporting the one on the outside now because they clip together. So hence it won't rock. This is the brick brace. This is a system for supporting the wall when you're going to knock it out and stick in a steel beam. I won't explain this to you because we have a very good video on the brick brace system on Skill Builder so you can see how that's done. And these are the acros on the inside, which are really basically supporting the bathroom floor, which is directly above there. So I always put a nail in an acro, never just leave it loose, because if you release the load on one acro, sometimes without you knowing it, the other one falls over, whacks you on the head. So having that nail in helps secure it. And there's Stephen, he's cutting out the inside. Why is he cutting out the inside? We need to access, basically because we've got to put the joist ends into the steel beam, into the web of the steel beam. So he's cutting that out. And at the same time, I've got to do a little bit of a plumbing alteration here. And uh, yeah, all right, Stephen, well done. And um, this is the bath waste. And because we've got a steel beam now, we've raised it up into the ceiling. We would have to cut a hole in the steel beam to take the bath waste through and then we'd have to run it the other side so what i decided to do is i'm just going to run this underneath those joists across to the outside wall and because we've got a bit of a full ceiling going in here we're dropping the ceiling by an inch that will just about be all right i hope if it's not i just have to put a slightly deeper ceiling in or we'll have to go back to having a tiny bit of beam Anyway, that's it. That's uh, all I can tell you for now. Bit of an abrupt ending. I wanted to see that steel beam going in. We did have some footage of that somewhere. Anyway, I'm Roger Bisbee. If you're not a subscriber, we love subscribers and we do need them. We need to grow this channel and the views and the subscribers help us do that. Very, very important. So please become a regular viewer. There's a lot more tool tests, fan tests, all kinds of stuff coming up on Skill Builder. If you're interested in building, then this is the channel for you.